Hello and welcome to a new video about electrochromatics. Last time we talked about how we get information from our control system, electrical, electronical control system, to our valves. Yeah. Talked about these little things here, coils, yeah, and how they might operate things. Uh, today we want to discuss yeah, how we get information uh, from our pneumatic or hydraulic system to, to our control system. Well, we already said the last video, yeah, maybe we have some limit switches, we have some proximate switches and so on, so we can detect the position of cylinders pretty well. However, sometimes it's necessary to detect if somewhere is pressure or not, okay? And, well, how is this working? Yeah, it's called PE. Wandler in German, so transfer, PE transfer, yeah, from chromatic to electric transfer, or also uh, from from hydraulic. Yeah? So it's not only called Wandler, it's the German word, it's called transfer. Uh, PE transfer information. And here I already draw some picture, yeah, because it simply would take too long to draw it. Life. <clears throat> what we've got here actually is some rod uh, which is spring loaded. Here, this shall be a spring. <laughs> this, this, this rod is spring loaded and we can adjust the tension of the spring by the help of a screw. Okay. And down here we have, in this case, is a pneumatic valve uh, or pneumatic switch, pneumatically operated switch. Here we have a membrane. Okay. And our pressure is coming from this side. Yeah? Here we apply air. If the air pressure is not high enough to lift this rod against the spring load, yeah? then with this middle contact will contact the below contact. All right. And if then the pressure is rising and suddenly this area where the pressure is applied is big enough at a certain pressure to lift this, yeah, it will switch. Yeah, it will switch to the other side. Yeah. It will compress the spring yeah, and that's it. Yeah. And the switching point I, point I can adjust with the with the tensioning of the spring. Yeah. Tensioning or losing the spring, I can adjust at which pressure this thing shall switch. Alright? It looking pretty much the same for hydraulic valves. However, then there is usually there's usually not a, a membrane. There's usually a piston because there are higher pressures and so on. Uh, and there's also not directly spring loaded. Do you, there are then lever systems and so on. Uh, is it called lever or lever? Uh, what is the quote of Archimedes? Uh, give me a lever. And a fulcrum which is long enough, blah blah blah. Or give me a lever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ah, he spoke Greek. So why bother? <laughs> Heber, es geht um ein Heber. Okay, German it's Heber. This I know. Actually, it's working pretty much the same. So there is a switching element, spring loaded switching element, uh, and there is a lever lever uh, which will give the spring simply more power. Okay. Yeah. What are these contacts? Well, the middle contact is contacted contacted to somewhere. Yeah. So the, the middle contact is where we put the voltage, let's say, and the the function of these contacts. This can be several, yeah? so there can be, for instance, a normally closed contact. Yeah? So this means looking like this. Yeah? Normally closed between those. Yeah? Uh, in German, it's called Öffner. Yeah? And this is the non-operated position. And if we operate, we will open it. So whenever there is no pressure, we have a signal. 
whenever there is pressure, we have no signal. Okay? This could be, for instance, an alarming light. Yeah, no pressure in the system. Boom, yeah, normally closed. Then it might be a normally open contact. Normally open. Okay, might be a normally open contact. Uh, this means if I operate it, it will close. Yeah? In rest position, it's open. Normally, it's open. Okay, or it can even be both, uh, so that we have two contacts and normally open, and a normally closed contact and the middle contact, yeah, so that I can select yeah, simply by which Y I'm using. This is also often. In German, this is called Wechsel, Wechsel contact. This might be possible. Yeah? So we can adapt the, the, the switch to our needs. Okay? And basically that's it. Yeah? It's not that complicated, right? Next time, we are going to talk about, uh, as an example, one example of such a valve. Eh? We will discuss why it is built that way. All right. Next time, one example of a valve which is operated by electric, magnetic, electromagnetic operation valve. Eh? Next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.